minutes, please. Raise your hand, please. You're now off to your the best start of your career after 20 years and doing it in dramatic fashion. I wonder if you could just reflect on what that means at, at 36 at this point in your career. It took a while. <laughs> <laughs> it took a while to get the record, but no, I'm happy. Look, especially also uh, with the match, um, you know, it was just a, a fighting match uh, rather than like it didn't come easy so i had to go get it also maybe get a bit lucky of course throughout the match but uh, i hung tough and put a lot of effort into it you know to to get the record if you like i mean you go from one to the next so clearly the focus has to be the finals right now you know and not enjoying the record but it's it's nice to get off a, a good good start this year and um, i hope i can i can play well again tomorrow Roger, how on earth do you do the, get out of these sort of matches? I mean, what is it that clicks for you in a match that can turn it around? You're in, in a, almost a desperate situation, and yet you can seem to flick a switch and turn things. Um, well, I mean, I think when, you, uh, when you're confident and maybe also experienced and you have that combination, there's no real need to, to panic, you know, um, because you can assess the situation quite easily. You're understanding that the opponent's playing better it's breezy it's hard to play offense and when i was playing offense he was uh, defending well and then in the neutral rally balls um, maybe i was missing a bit too too many times and it was uh, it was a close match even in the second set you know if you look back at how many close calls we had in the important moments um, things could have shifted either way for both of us a little bit more you know so uh, I mean, but margins are slim, you know, at the top of the game, and um, I've been there so many times that you just hope to take the right decisions along the way, and then that it ends up falling your way. Uh, but for that, you need to have a very positive mindset. You need to be uh, match tough. You need to be confident, have experience, and I think I have all of that a bit right now. So I think that's the reason I won. Uh, I won again today, but uh, it didn't come easy. I think Borna played a great match. He actually was very steady and. Uh, I can see why he caused a lot of uh, problems to a lot of players, and he's only going to improve from here. So um, it was a uh, it was a good match. I enjoyed it. Roger, I'm mindful that the Australian Open final was five sets, but was that perhaps the hardest anybody has pushed you so far this season? Yeah, probably. I mean, look, I should have lost a match. I was down twice a break in the third. I was down a break in the second. So yeah, no doubt about it. This is definitely the the toughest match, maybe the toughest match, you know, because uh, against Marion, I was also up most of the match and uh, the only moment I was in a very difficult moment I think I was down break points at the beginning of the fifth but then I was able to cruise away but so today wasn't anything like it I always felt like I was down in the score and uh, and so to come back this way was a was a was a, was a good one from outside it looked like maybe you were a bit slower today than than usual and we were wondering if there was something wrong for a set and a half or just no, no. one of the Maybe early morning, who knows? I mean, uh, honestly, it could have been that little bit. I think trying to understand Borna's play because he absorbs a lot, a lot of power very easily. Um, it's a great retriever, so it became a bit of a cat and mouse game. And then <laughs> when you're thinking you can play offense all the time and then he catches you off guard, you know, uh, and you have to go back into defense. Uh, I felt like maybe in the beginning it wasn't happening uh, naturally, but I thought he was protecting his serve very well. Um, and I was just hoping that through um, tougher rallies and uh, staying in the match for longer, you know, I would start to feel better in defense particularly because in the beginning it wasn't quite there, but uh, I think it had something to do with, um, with him rather than me. I'm physically totally fine, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I'm feeling this way actually. Roger, Juan Martin Del Potro is up a center break, assuming he does make it through. He told us how much she likes playing you and that for him, he would pick you to play in any final. Okay. <laughs> Is that a good thing or not? <laughs> he was saying it in a good way. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, that's a bad thing for me then. So I just wanted to ask you, can you reflect on the kind of rivalry you have with him? Yeah, we've had a lot of close matches, you know, um, big matches, close matches. Um, geez, I just tried to think back at... French Open semis, US Open finals, Olympic semis, uh, Basel finals, a bunch of those guys, and a few World Tour finals matches, um, Shanghai, just three setters, five setters, just the whole way. So, um, 
it's been it's been good, you know. I, t I think we uh, have an interesting matchup, you know. Uh, we both know what the other's trying to do, and we try to stop the other person from doing it. But it's it's hard when me or him is in full flight. So it's always a it's basically an arm wrestle the whole time, and I think we enjoy that, and uh, we know each other well. Um, I think we respect each other in a big way, and uh, um, both happy for one another. I think when we do well, you know, uh, generally happy. So. Uh, it's nice to see him back in the top ten and making big strides now, and uh, and um, I think he's going to have a great season. So I'm very happy for him. Hey Roger, congratulations. Um, speaking of champs, how did you feel about Sugar Ray Leonard watching your match? Today? Was he there? Yes. You don't know. <laughs> there you go. Well, I'm happy that he was there. Hope he comes back again, and hopefully somebody's going to let me know beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> because I saw Sampras and uh, Labor there so many times during the the game you think to yourself, what are they thinking, you know? So uh, it's interesting when you have fellow athletes uh, watching you you play. It's uh, maybe the biggest inspiration out there for a player. Talk about that uh, 9.15 pasta this morning. Was it uh, obviously an hour on the court pretty different than your normal uh, normal morning routines? Sure. Yeah, but it's okay. You know, I don't mind it. You know, in the juniors, we had that all the time. We play three matches a day. Um, it was normal that you would eat and go out and play right away. You couldn't digest the food sometimes. Uh, things changed. So uh, that's who we are, the tennis players. But it was definitely a change of the rhythm. It's been a long time since I've played this early. Um, so I really had, you know, you had to force yourself to go to bed uh, late last night. And because you know ev you're trying everything just to be really ready for an 11 o'clock start. Um, I woke up early this morning. Got out, got out, practiced, and you know, tried to get a sweat going, and you know, it's just, uh, it's different. So different's good sometimes, but uh, yeah, sure, it was, uh, it was a slightly different schedule today than than the other days for sure. Roger, with respect to your enjoyment of the game, how important are these close matches where you really have to fight to come out? I mean, very important, you know, even if you lose those, uh, still the fighting matches are the ones that kind of bring you sometimes to turn of victory or at least give you a shot like today, okay, it's a semis, but usually it happens earlier in the tournament, you know, um, and it's not supposed to be all easy, you know, where you win in straight, you win again in straight and again and again, and like at Wimbledon last year, and even there I saved set points, I had to hit a lot of uh, good shots in, in, in very important moments to, you know, not make it go to four sets or, you know, who knows what happens then if you drop the set. So I enjoy these uh, fighting matches because uh, very often I can't uh, talk enough about my, my quality of my, uh, my grit and my fighting spirit. But uh, when it happens, I actually enjoy, enjoy the battle because it's uh, what it's supposed to be, to be quite honest. Roger. Um can you just talk about Borna's poise and maturity out there? It just seemed like he was forcing you to hit with. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, he's always going to ask the questions, you know. Um, if you play poorly, um, you'll probably lose against him. And if you play good, uh, things look good for you. And even then, he's going to check you because he's a good retriever. Um, uh, I think for him, it's just going to be very important to, to be very strong uh, mentally, because he's going to go through phases where he's uh, it's maybe going to be raining winners on him because he gives you a chance to hit it, and then he's just got to stay the course and um, work extremely hard. And uh, I've practiced with him in Dubai also once and twice before, and uh, you know I think he, he works very hard. But I think uh, last couple of years he's been trying to recalibrate his game a little bit. He wanted to play a bit more up in the court and start playing more aggressive. But then the problem is like, what is aggressive enough? You don't want to give too many balls away, you know. You don't want to just hand over uh, too many games just by missing shots. So I think that's going to be the key for him moving forward. But uh, look, I think he played a great tournament. Uh, he beat some great players early in the, in, the, in the tournament easily, and that's going to give him a world of confidence. And then he won the close ones, except this one today. But okay, that's a, that's okay. I think he can take a lot out of this match and also the whole week and move forward from here. And I think he's good on clay, good on hard court. So I think he's got a hopefully a good year ahead of himself. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Who's this? We're going to have Borna Korich coming in as soon as we're finished here. Yeah.